Have you ever given much thought to your brain? Well, neither have most of us. It's kind of hard to grasp that our brains are up there, with their own mysterious circuits and processes and chemicals, and it can even be a little unsettling to think about. And does it ever seem like we don't do a very good job of explaining how it all works? Well, that's because we don't really understand it. A lot of research is being done in the neuroscience community to better understand the brain. One interesting property of the brain, called neuroplasticity, recently became a whole lot more interesting due to some of this research. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to change its connections, circuits, and structures in response to experience and stimuli. Basically, it means that the brain is flexible. But scientists have known for a long time that our brains can change, so what's the big deal? Babies' brains grow and change into adult brains, learning new skills, becoming more and more efficient. However, we used to think that once we reached adulthood, the neuroplasticity of our brains basically stopped, and that we were stuck with what we had. New science is showing that neuroplasticity, and even neurogenesis, which is the growth of new brain cells, continues well into adulthood at deeper levels than ever previously imagined. For example, studies have seen the brains of amputees completely reassign the areas of the brain responsible for the lost limbs. The brains of people who become blind after birth convert the visual centers to aid with smell, touch, or hearing. If you've heard that blind people can hear better than everyone else, turns out that's probably true. This shifting of assets occurs in less extreme situations, too. Concert pianists have been shown to have much more balanced left and right hand dexterity regions in the brain than non-musicians. In one recent study of Buddhist monks, the effect of mindfulness meditation was examined. Mindfulness meditation is the practice of focusing on being completely in the present moment, trying to embody pure compassion. Many monks have meditated for tens of thousands of hours over their lifetimes, and the study showed that those hours result in permanent changes in the brain. In the brains of the experienced monks, much stronger connections were seen in areas of the frontal cortex that correspond to empathy and maternal love as compared to less experienced meditators. This means that our brains can change even in response to things that we think, not just things that we do. So, what does it all mean? This new research into the nature of the brain could ultimately lead to happier, more fulfilling lives for all of us, as well as better treatments for disorders like OCD or ADD. If the brain can physiologically change just by thinking, then drug treatments might not be quite as necessary. The possible applications of this new understanding are far-reaching into all of our lives. The human brain is incredibly complex and currently beyond our understanding in many respects. All in all, the field of neuroscience is just scratching the surface and making fascinating new discoveries all the time.